Hi everyone, Adam with eTrailer.com. Today we're going to be talking about ball mounts for your ATV. I'm here at eTrailer right now. We just pulled these from our inventory and we're going to be going over some of the specs and uses of these ball mounts. These are going to be for your ATV and we're going to have two different sizes by Kurt. We're going to have an inch and seven eighths and also a two inch as well. The difference between these is pretty much if you already have a hitch on your side-by-side -side or four-wheeler, all you need to do is grab this mount here. But if you have no hitch receiver on it, we can get this uh, clevis sleeve here, and that's just gonna bolt on with the included hardware, and that's gonna act as your ball mount as well. It has some safety chains here too. So we're gonna go ahead and go out on the prop and go ahead and put it on our side-by-side -side and see how they work. All right, so we're out on the property. We have our Ranger here. And since we already have a two inch hitch receiver, we don't need the clevis sleeve that comes with it. But every single kit that we're showing you today will come with the two inch shank ball. We're gonna use the two inch and of course just slide it in. It does come with the pin and clip. So this is the two inch ball and it's going to have a nice powder coated finish so it's going to resist against rust and corrosion but it is going to give you a significant rise as well. Uh, whether you have a trailer that you're hauling that has a coupler you can use this but you can also use this right here. So if you have a double clevis trailer you just slide that over there and put your pin through. So it's kind of the best of both worlds. So one thing you guys do need to know is that it does not come with a clevis pin. And so you can pick some of those up at eTrailer.com. It's basically just a pin, but a little bit thicker. And some of them have more options with holes and everything. So I just grab one of these off of one of my other equipment here. But if you don't have one, pick one up at eTrailer.com. I'm using this type of trailer now. It's a double clevis. Uh, I'm doing a lot of work here at the property. So let's just see how it handles up. Well, one thing to note, didn't hear a whole lot of rattling back there. So the pin that they give you with the kit, it's like the perfect size. So it actually, it doesn't act as an anti-rattle device, but definitely don't hear any rattling going back on back there. Something that I was definitely concerned with, but I don't have that issue here. So that's definitely a thumbs up for me. So as you can see here, we're utilizing the two inch ball mount for the coupler on our larger trailer. I got a couple bigger lee or twigs and uh, sticks that I need to clean up. A big windstorm came through, a lot of sticks and stuff in the yard. So this is gonna be great for that. It is a pretty big trailer, but my machine can handle it and so can the ball mount. So if you don't have a two inch hitch on your machine and you just have a clevis right here, I would suggest grabbing one of the full kits. So what, with, what we're gonna get with this kit is obviously our ball mount, but we're gonna get this converter. And basically that's just going to go over this hole here and we're gonna thread it down with our included hardware. There is a stabilization plate. And what this is gonna do is going to thread into the bottom of this so I'll kind of show you when it's off of it um, if we only have one pivot point for this ball mount it's it might want to swing every once in a while so we do have threaded holes in the bottom we're gonna put this like so and what it's gonna do is gonna butt up to this underneath our mount and that's gonna prevent it from sliding back and forth I'm not gonna use it on this application because it actually interferes with lining up the hole on the big one but this definitely it comes with the kit and it's also going to act as an anti-rattle device because the holes do go all the way through if you can see here so once you start threading them in it's actually going to push up on this ball mount here just to take out any rattling but for today we're going to take our big bolt our lock washer and our nut and get her secured down Pretty simple stuff, put it down like that, put your lock washer on 
and throw it on your nut. I do suggest hand tightening everything as much as you can and then coming back with a wrench and finishing the job. Then you can go ahead and grab our ball mount and slide this in and we can put our pin and clip on there as well. And if you're wondering where it's at, it's actually inside here. We gotta take this sticker off. And we're gonna have everything we need. So now that we've converted our four wheeler to a clevis mount to our two inch hitch, now we have the best of both worlds. We have a inch and seven eighths ball that we can use to haul around some of those trailers. And also we still don't lose our clevis attachment here. So it's gonna have two. So best of both worlds, we can still do what this was able to do before, but now we got a ball mount. So the dimensions of these two, meaning the two inch and the inch and seven eighths are almost gonna be exactly identical. From the center of our hitch pin hole to the center of our clevis hole is gonna be about seven and a half inches. And then the center of our hitch pin hole to the center of our integrated ball on both the two and the one and seven eighths is gonna be about six inches. So from here to the start of this bar here, we are going to have a little bit less than an inch and three quarters. And then from the, start, the end of this bar here to the center of our clevis hole, it's going to be about an inch and a half. And then from the center of our clevis hole to the very end here, we are going to have about an inch, a smidge over, if any. But other than that, that's, it is going to be universal measurements for both the 7 8 ball and the 2-inch ball. The only difference between these two measurement-wise is the height. As you can see here, it does sit a tad bit, a little bit taller. You're going to have a little bit more rise to it. Not a whole lot, but with the bigger ball, of course, you're going to have a little bit more rise to it. So for the clevis adapter, the overall length of it is going to be about 5 and a half inches from the center of our hitch pin hole to the center of our clevis hole is gonna be pretty much three inches on the dot. Also, if you guys are wondering when it's installed on your machine, our uh, safety cables will be hooking onto this and that's going to uh, give it an overall height of about four and three quarter inches. So all in all, after messing with these things a couple times, I've messed with some in the past as well. Really nothing special stood out to me on any of them. They get the job done and that's pretty much all I'm really looking for. So I would definitely recommend grabbing something like this for your side-by-side -side or ATV just so it can do more.